Hey my friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. You know, it made very little news this year, but in 2016, one of the biggest innovations in internal combustion engines was announced. Infinity showed off their new variable compression ratio turbocharged engine. Our in-depth look, it's coming right up. In the past couple decades, the internal combustion engine has seen dramatic developments from variable valve timing to direct fuel injection, and the mass adoption of turbochargers all to raise horsepower and efficiency at the same time. One of the last frontiers, however, has been the dream to create an engine with a variable compression ratio that allowed for infinite tuning and operation ranges instead of settling for a compromise of fixed compression. This year in Paris, Infiniti shocked the industry when they unveiled their all-new 2-liter VC turbo gasoline four-cylinder engine that realizes this dream, offering a continuously variable compression ratio spread of 8.1 to 14.1. Why? Higher compression ratios offer better efficiency but not always more power. Lower compression ratios allow for greater turbo boost and more aggressive fuel-to-air ratios for more power when it's wanted. It's having the best of both worlds in the same engine. The VC Turbo starts out with all the latest technologies that currently exist. You have both direct and port fuel injection to use either or both when they're best suited, horsepower or efficiency. There's variable cam timing too that has a wide range allowing for both an Atkinson or an auto combustion cycle. But what makes the VC Turbo completely different is the multi-link control system buried deep below the crankshaft that allows the piston stroke to be raised and lowered continuously depending on driver inputs and load conditions. The crankshaft itself is offset from the axis of the cylinder bores. By moving the axis of the stroke up and down, compression ratio and by extension the displacement can be varied continuously. In this case, the displacement itself ranges from 1997 to 1970 cc's and as said, the compression ratio from 8.1 to 14 to 1. Because the crankshaft is offset from the cylinder bores, the piston rod is in a near vertical position for the combustion stroke and it has less lateral movement which fosters smoother and quieter operation than most four-cylinder engines. They were even able to eliminate the balance shafts as they simply weren't needed. Packaging too has been streamlined with an integrated exhaust manifold allowing the single scroll turbocharger to bolt directly to the head. The catalytic converter can then be mounted directly to the turbocharger further enhancing thermal efficiencies. This is all good, fuel economy and reduced emissions, but what about power? Infinity says on this first production engine we'll see in 2018, we can expect 268 horsepower and 288 pound-feet of torque. This comes with 27% better fuel efficiency than a similarly powered V6, says Infinity. Will it be durable? Well, Infinity's been working on this design since 1996 with over 100 prototypes in the 20-year process. With over 30,000 hours and nearly 2 million miles of testing done, they're confident it's ready for prime time and they're going to be the first to market with a variable compression engine. Now, while Infiniti hasn't told us yet which vehicles will be getting this new VC turbo engine, we can expect that virtually anything that currently offers a 2 liter turbo now will probably be a candidate. And these are vehicles like the new QX30, the Q50, and the Q60. This could even go into some mid-sized crossover SUVs. I think it'd be well suited. Until then, click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do a lot of technicals just like this. I really enjoy doing them, getting into the nuts and bolts. Also, click here, see our latest video. Either way, stay tuned.